to the friends and family alpha of world of warcraft battle for azeroth and this is going to be interesting the first quest we got is the vanishing lord we do not have any contacts within the house way quest so our efforts in dress world will have to begin from the ground up we have arranged for a griffin to take you to fall haven a following village in east of dust War. the mayor there cyril white is a longtime friend of the proud moles and i think he can help us get in touch with someone from the house i hope you can get to the bottom of their absence their martial might is invaluable to the cult here and fleet uh meet with cyril white in fall haven in dust War. ph you will be teleported on quest except now that means we should not teleport immediately uh, as you can see the ui have changed a bit and the first thing we're gonna do is actually switch to protection i don't know if i even have a sword and shield here yeah i actually do there's the shield uh, let's see one hand sword there we go so we gonna play protection obviously uh, let's see here yeah, obviously Shockwave. And Inspiring Presence. And let's move everything so it is on the places I am used to them being. Interesting. The new talents are... Not bad. Ignore Pain, new talent. is pretty decent, but I'm still gonna go with re Revenge because I'm gonna need the damage. Radius on Thunderclap increased. Yes, please. And max... Wait a minute. It's a passive buff that increases my maximum health by 20%. Why on earth would I not pick that? I mean, between that and ignore pain, the 20% HP buff is simply too good to ignore. Your auto attacks deal an additional... 600... <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the Devastate buff, but Indomitable as a tank is simply too good to ignore, at least from my perspective. You gain free haste for each enemy within 15 yards. Your shield block reduces rage cost, and yeah. We're gonna be combat protection here, so. Uh, shield slam increases the duration of shield block. Yeah, we're gonna pick heavy repercussions for now, and... Let's get into this. And of course, all of my controls are not as I remember them. Because uh, I basically reset everything. Okay, so we have this kind of raven symbol here. No, no idea why. And here's the mayor of the ball here. This man matches the description of Cyril White. He's in no state to help me right now. Uh, obviously, the mayor, alongside with the rest of the residents of Fallhaven, appears to be uh, under the effects of unfamiliar magic. We need to find the source of the spell. So obviously, this creepy raven thing might have to be destroyed. That doesn't seem to have done that much. Apparently there's some kind of thing here, we should have a look at that. Some weird things have been happening going on here. We need to check the journals, and... A new curve. Through your protection, all villagers are expected to retire to their homes no later than sundown. In addition, we have reports of dangerous creatures in the foothills. Uh, nothing here. There's the journal. There's husband. I do not think you're fooling, but I've seen him sneaking out in the foothills while you think I'm asleep. Whoever this is up, it's not better not involve that crazy woman in the woods. Yes, because everything involves crazy w women in the woods. I mean, it's a bit like Duskwood, it is a bit creepy. 
And the atmosphere actually fits really well, so let's just kill the ravens. I mean, for some reason, these ravens are very bloodthirsty, you know, like, uh, kill them, stuff like that. And that's done. Don't know where the flies came from. Need to come back in curse as well, so we can do that. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. Let's have a look here. Just a regular tank and spank for the moment. Of course, without the DPS, we are healing. I think that is really necessary, right? I have a way we need to disperse these flies to combat the curse. Come on. I can do better than this. If you're wondering why I'm picking protection, it is because apparently there is really an instance that actually, let's see here, guild finder, group finder, random 8.0 dungeon. Uh, let's see here, tank. Let's just find a group, see if we can enter one. And of course, auto loot is not on, so I might actually have to make sure it is. So, yeah, I completely forget where everything is. There it is, auto loot, and I really should be mixing with, up my key binding as well. There we go, and now auto run is where it should be. I should have done that the first thing, but never mind that. So we're gonna make sure we actually do combat this curse and timing queue like we want it. I don't know how many people are actually on the line at the moment, so we don't know we don't know if I'm actually gonna get it. What I need to. Apparently, everyone is talking about this old crone or stuff like that. So, I think we can guess what's actually behind all this. Uh, let's see here sound and sound in background. So, when I alt tab, you guys won't be affected by it. Or at least that's the general idea of it. Come on. So apparently a curse, a raven, and a lot of flies are currently a big problem for this place. But like I said, I really enjoy the atmosphere of it. I mean, the music is spot on. The entire thing looks rather, s not really scary, but at least borderline spooky. And apparently this is a cursed charm. We might have to remove this. I mean... If this is the work of one single crone, I'm impressed. Because, if so, that crone has some mad skills when it comes to actually getting shit done. So, let's move on and find the last piece of the quest. As you can see, the map screen have also been upgraded. I don't really f know what I think of it. I think it looks nice, but I'm not convinced it's actually something I prefer over the previous one. This guy looks pissed. She looks not really happy about the situation she's currently in. And I don't... Oh, great, pigs. We fought the Legion, and now we're fighting pigs. I literally faced down Sargeras, and now I'm fighting pigs. How the mighty have fallen. But hey, at least the armor looks nice, right? Damn it. 
Down goes the pigs. And a letter. Let's see what the letter... I apologize for the delay in the latest one to ship. Oh, you don't say. Tainted pig team, right? I mean, how can you have problems slaughtering these pigs? I mean, they are pretty much begging to be slaughtered at this point in time. Done, and we will be running back. Delivering the quest and see if we can get something done by that. So, are we delivering this to this horrible wicked symbol? No, apparently there's a... Ah! A ledger. The ledger may contain some information to her whereabouts, the old woman. The header indicates that an old woman named Helena Gentle recently took up residence in a house down the road from the town. The villagers writings point to her being involved with a variety of maladies that struck the town recently. It is possible that she may know what's behind this spell if it hasn't afflicted her as well. I mean, everyone seems to blame her and that means in World of Warcraft terms that she's perfectly innocent, dead, or going to try and brutally murder us. I don't know about you, but I feel that the third option is quite likely- Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and fuck the ravens. I mean, how can a raven survive a slash sword anyway? Those are some badass ravens. I mean, if you unleash these ravens upon current Ogrimmar, they would do some nasty damage. So, I mean, can't we just speak to the crone about Ogrimmar instead? I mean, that would settle the war in a hurry. Either way, I am very happy to see the return of the Dustwood style. I mean, while the Worgen starting zone was creepy enough, the fact that you were one of the Worgen kind of diminished that. But in this case, it is like you enter this zone, you expect it to be at least somewhat normal, and it ain't. I need my victory rush back. Not really because I need it to survive, but hey. Okay, so we have some kind of night elf demon hunter here. I do not really know why there would be <coughs> night elves or demon hunters in a place like this, but hey. Let's check out the house. Oh, look, she's alive. Good day to Big you. surprise. Hello, dear young woman. We don't get many visitors from Fallhaven. What brings you to my home? Well, the fact that Fallhaven is cursed to bits. Oh, how dreadful. Okay, so Safe we're travel. supposed to listen to her now. I think this is, might be a curse since she wants to give us tea. <laughs> She's an actual drone. Nice. I wonder if she has something to do with the Forsaken. I mean, I don't think it's uh, obvious that she is supposed to be one of the Forsaken, but uh, it would fit. I mean, the Forsaken needs all, all different kind of magic, and even this kind of magic would serve the Forsaken rather well. So we're gonna kill some controlled animals and get it done. Sorry, I'm not gonna play with anyone at the moment. Sorry about that. But I'm just gonna experience this on my own. Moving on and playing with other people save this dungeon finder request. At least gathering some Ooh, 
Look, more wolves. Come on, we can do this. Let's get it done in a hurry. Between victory rush and a full tank, the average up to setting creatures with tank and spank. It's an easy thing to do. That, and we have full green armor on our That's nice. I don't really know what the Acid Bite is doing, but I, I suspect it has something to do with the Heart of Azeroth. Our necklace. And that's it for the wildlife. Let's destroy the smaller charms and see what we can do about it. The funny thing is, the witch didn't feel like it was any use killing us while she had us in her grasp. That might be a very stupid thing to do. Ooh, look, rare. Let's kill it. Like an edge. Well, let the demon hunter finish his stuff, and meanwhile we can just hang the back of the guy because the demon hunter will surely help us out later. I don't think we need that, but the demon hunter is gonna want to watch and kill. So Baleful looks like it could actually be another one of the creatures. A good rumbling goes on my feet. And I know it's a big round rumbling goes on my feet, but hey, I like my interpretation better. That pain, and we should be trying to have the rain on it. And we go. I like how it's a big that plays over. Another one of those destroyed. We only have one of those left now. So. I just realized I haven't actually taken the time to try and check my mounts. So, once we're done with that, I might want to just get out of mount myself. Let's get the Swiss mount also nice enough. I, need a target. I mean, I've been running around here on foot like a fool when I really should just be mounted up. Yeah, this place doesn't have one of those, so... <laughs> Apparently we're supposed to also play the Wicked Game of the West, but... Right now, I can't see where she's going to be. She might actually be in the place I just left. <laughs> On, die now. Good, and they might actually be waiting for her to respawn, or we need to summon her, or shit like that. So, I get the feeling this might not. Oh, there she is. Hello. The power of the coven. I really like the mod. I mean, it's really like a classical. Style and it, it actually looks rather well. And here comes the demon hunter to help slay You know, when people tell me they are, that I am a male, I don't really believe them because it's technically right. 
And if you say all their deaths that they can't, uh, that I can't stop first, I actually can. Well, the crone is defeated, and we have a curse to break. That means we, since we've destroyed the smaller curse things. What the hell? Ah, no. Let's ride! I know this is epic mount speed, but somehow it feels faster. I'm kinda surprised as to how she managed to build all of this shit, but... Let's destroy that thing, and we need to destroy the ravens. Fucking ravens. Oh, and it's alive. <laughs> Apparently we got dragged into a dimension where stuff like this is alive. And Colpeo has to that big. I mean, no wonder Colpeo has not really been active in astral politics. If this is basically a whole lot. Death to you. Ah, uh, no. gonna make it. And by that I mean it's not gonna make it. It's just a standard threat. It's not like an, an actual threat of dying. Oh look, they're alive. And I'm not sure you want to know that, what to be honest. Let's see, we can even get some legs, or we can get a back armor. I'm going for the legs. Loot specialization, protection, legs. Nice. And we also got it upgraded. You seek House Waycrest. My timing could not be worse. I've just received a raven. You mean all the fucking raven flying around? Uh, about Lord Waycrest's daughter, Lucy, shortly before this, curse came upon us. They apprehended her in Flitcher's Hollow and taken her to trial. They say she's a witch. Well, obviously. If she's found guilty, she will surely hang. You must ma make haste to Hangman's Point. With the, what you've seen here, maybe you can convince them of her innocence. Safe with what I've seen here, it isn't really obvious that she is innocent, really. I mean, for all I know, everyone could be witches. We should burn everyone in the entire village to make sure they are not actual, you know, witches. Or at least that is the general idea at the moment. You need something? My grandson got lost around the caves to the north and I'm so afraid the trogs might have got him. My husband went after him but it's uh, getting it on for years. I don't really imagine himself talking about real he is. Have a good one. And let's see what horrible thing this How guy wanted uh, what to do for me. Okay, so this guy basically Chilling. just wanted me to help him with his sausages. So, the market is here, uh, the Waker's daughter is here, and the caves is up here. Let's do them in that order then. Let's find the guy and most likely have to inform the poor uh, woman that her son and husband is horribly dead. Okay, so we got at least one of them up there. He doesn't look very dead. At least not this moment. Hey there. Be careful. Greetings. They're going on an expedition to find Titan relics in the Trog Caverns. Uh, so, we need to look for the children, and we need to See slay some frogs. I mean, it's kind of interesting that he's like, yeah, the kids are most likely dead, so just kill the frogs, the frogs are on I mean, that's basically his motivation for the entire thing. Smash the frogs, smash the 
I mean, you're ugly and for that to die. We have found her backpack at the very least, so let's just throw the trolls and maybe find the kids dead. A junior explorer pin is attached to the pack. It appears to have been emptied by the trolls. We need to continue looking for the children, and the map very handily tells us where to look next. Of course, we still need to murder some frogs in the way. We might as well just... Oh, hello. Okay, wolves. I mean, if we're gonna murder a bunch of frogs, we might as well get immediately. Go. And... Okay. And I might have actually overstamped it this time. I mean, as long as I get a kill, I can go for the victory and heal up. Stop being rooted. You and death. Pretty big. And apparently, I can see something in there. Let's go. Oh, Beginner's Guide to Archaeology By Bran Bronzebeard Furden Wakey wakey frogs, it's time to die! I mean, couldn't I just kill them while they were sleeping? So they couldn't defend themselves? I mean, that sounds like the easy way to do this Is it a rock? How to identify relics? At least they're doing the research. I mean, the kids have potential. And if two kids have potential, then the frogs must die. Wouldn't it be ironic if it turns out now that the frogs been actually taking care of the kids, you know, them, making sure they don't get lost and stuff like that. Just keeping in the warm safe away from the coolers and stuff like that. Now we're just murdering them for it. So we have murdered us enough frogs and Being a falcon here for some ungodly reason. Why is that allied to the frogs? There we go. And there should be a, another clue here somewhere to the kids. Yeah, half eaten journal. Look for signs of the children. Well, we haven't actually found any children yet, only their half eaten journals. And here is. This is actually tagged with the Adventure Society. And it's kind of fun to see the fact that there was a wild, angry boar just running past him. Apparently the kid is very happy that he killed the trogs. There are trogs here, right? So that probably means there are ancient stuff nearby. The trogs say holds like shiny things, so we pulled some of our allowance and gave them the gold so we could dig. It didn't work like we expected. They got his friends. Uh, he needs to get them out of there. Well, duh. So apparently the trogs did not take care of the kids. Rather, it sounds like the trogs really do consider having them Dead. So let's just burn up this tamed boar, give the boar to the kid. I don't know cooking, but if I did, that would be a nice idea. 
Um, the discarded paper contains a list of the items the Adventurer Society has found during the course of their excavation here at the Northern Caverns. It is unlikely they found relics, but there's no harm in recovering the items the kids found. At least they're souvenirs of the adventure. Yeah, that, that's kind of a cute thing to do. Need to get closer. Murder trunks! Murder trunks for the glory of the kids. I mean, this is like the quest in uh, Stone Talon Mountains where a little girl wants to murder goblins and murder. And she pretty much whispers she's murdering them throughout the entire quest. This has similar ways. I mean, victory rush is really overpowered here. I can just keep tanking and whenever someone dies, I can do victory rush and I'm getting a big heal out of it. I like that. Also, stop rolling me. Fuck, you're gonna die. There you go. And done. It would be quite nice to see the kid kind of say, Hey, Dub, you didn't find any, any relics at all. There were like just rocks and stuff like that moving around. So now we can go to the for a Genuine Titan Disc in quotations. You and more may have to you. Oh, come on. The ancient pot shirts, and there we have one of the kids. Who at least seems to be wise enough to just help. Tank shenanigans. And then we'll see about finding the kids. Or at least rescuing the kid we already found. They seem to have tied him down with one of those brooding spells to keep him on me. And like I said, if they want to use those on me, they're gonna die. Speaking of treasure, it seems like there is an actual treasure chest here. We should open it and see what it contains. A brittle ceremonial necklace. Okay, so uh, we managed to rescue Amphubia Battle. Is that even a name? Come on, folks. Let's go. Yeah, we're on our way. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Crap, I don't have a shield. I was kind of hoping that I could shield there, but... Again, the very only victory rush is me out of it. Death and destruction. There we go, and releasing you. Who knew Trogs could use magic? Looks like we have Amelia Tidecrest up there. Let's see if we can... Stop throwing the rocks at me! Yeah, don't throw them at me! You were throwing the rocks at me! You idiot! Well, there's the last of the kids' re relics up there, so we might as well get it. We're going to hide this box. Sounds like a glorious idea. Come on. Up you go. And horrible, horrible doom to you. Let's ignore the pain. 
move while we swiftly murder this dog. And then let's go with the ball. Done and Okay, so Relic of the Makers is the last one. So let's return them to the kids and see what's going on here. Hopefully the kids can return so I, you know, can go and see if that girl is actually a witch or not. Or just help that guy with his sausages. I mean, what do you really think we should do? Should we go for the witch or should we go for the sausages? Okay, so Marcus... Mistakes were made. They could have leap could have escaped on their own, but it was nice to could distract the trolls for them. You found the relics. Nice. I bet Brad Bronzebeard will be impressed. We're gonna write to him once we get back home. With everyone but Nigel. I mean, couldn't you have mentioned the fact that there was at least another one close by before? I mean, this guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. Actually, it looks like he's about to be fucking eaten. So, you could have mentioned that, you know, Rescue Nigel was kind of the priority here. But obviously not. I don't think you like Nigel. I mean, this frog is not have a name yet. Probably gonna be something like the child or whatever. Or Cannibal Charlie. Cannibal Charlie would actually be a deep name for a dog. Not that I think it would fit. Hey. Let's get down from there. Yeah, let's move. I mean, what would you have said if, um, if, um, I would have refused to save Nigel? I'm sure they will make fine explorers when they're adults, which will be around the time they are no longer. Grounded. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing. Let's get the gauntlets. For the alliance. We got the gauntlets, and the kids are not supposed to sneak out, but they do still. They're all grounded for two months. Is that how long it's gonna take for them to grow up? Yes, ground them for life, I say. Yes, very lucky indeed. Now look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Off we go. Now we can either go for the sausages in Carver's Harbor, or we could go for the Wakeless Daughter, which I suppose is the main quest line. Uh, considering the fact that I think the Wakeless might be a bit important, I think that we're gonna put the sausages on hold for a bit and go for the witch's trial. And I say that because the witch's trial sounds like the far more interesting quest. Because if I have to do a similar chain, like with the children, where I have to um, hunt down so a guy can get his sausages, uh, just no, no. So we'll be heading to uh, the hangman's point and see if they've already hung her. And if they don't, so we are most likely far too late to be of any use to anyone. 
Besides, when they see this warrior in man's clothing with a horse that doesn't even have a saddle turn up, I am quite certain they are going to accuse us of being the witch, which would be frankly hilarious if we were playing a warlock or a priest. I mean, can you imagine a questline where you get accused of being a witch and you are actually like a shadow priest or something like that? I mean... But no, most likely it's just gonna be, we found a witch, maybe we burn her stuff. I mean, this questline seems ripe for Monty Python jokes at this point. Hangman's Point looks like a very cheerful place, so we're gonna make sure we talk to the flight master here. Oh, it looks like, I don't know if that animation is actually upgraded, but I don't know if the griffin used to look like an animatronic. It's a nice touch at any rate, so... Um, up on the hill should be something at least, hopefully. I mean, it's not like we actually arrived in the nick of time here. Let's just... Let's just stand here and sh shake our fists at the whiz. Oh, um... That was not what I, I was supposed to shake at the witch. Let's just get get up there and see if we can talk them into some goddamn sense. Good day here. to you. Can't you see that we're busy here, warrior? I assume you have a reason for interrupting this trial. I don't know this if this guy knows what a trial is. I mean, she's literally standing on the gallows, and I don't really know what the hangman thinks he's doing. But obviously he's incompetent, because I mean this noose is far too big for her. All that would happen is she would slip through it and through the hatch. I mean... He, is he fucking incompetent? So you wish to speak to the accused, I see no reason why not. Be quick about it though, I will not have this trial delayed. This woman will answer for the fate of our village. See you around. I mean, your village looks like fine. And here we have riders, a marshal, and they want to release the witch into her custody. And they will take her by force if they argue. I mean, the peasants should pretty much just decide to, this is not a fight they want to pick, because I'm not sure I want the marshal to have her as well, but at this point in time, uh, they're pretty much between a rock and a hard place, because we want to talk to her, and these guys want her alive, and hey these there. people doesn't even have any weapons. Hey there. I'm here to rescue you. And what do you plan on cutting down these villagers freely as well? No, if you wish to help, you need to help me with the marshal. While their accusations are misplaced, they are still my people, I will not have them harm to save me in some discomfort. I will let them have their trial and I will prove to them my innocence. Lady, you are standing in the middle of the gallows. However, I feel the marshal may have taken matters into his own hands and I am a bit tied up here. See if you can convince him to let this, this trial run See its you course. around. Let's see here. They... Nice cavalry outfits. With you. So the Lady Wakefest have asked that you convince me to stand her trial. I think she has estimated how dangerous things are here. Yeah, I think this is probably stupid as well. The Marshal will honor her wish. These are dark things happening. The wildlife here can serve as eyes to dark powers. Kill them. And in case of ambush, place six traps in a watcher's woods. For the Alliance. And we're being sent on an errand. Nice. I mean, the person we're supposed to talk to in order to settle all this is standing on the gallows and we're being sent on an errand. Never mind the fact that there are actual, you know, dark rules and everything like that around here and that, you know, they might actually have to worry about. Because if these wolves were not sleeping, they would most likely want to have some fun with the villagers. And fun, I mean, 
as well. And horrible doom. Place down the trap there. Obviously, I can do that while I don't have to have it. I'm a colleague, so he's not upset to see me murder wolves. Dang. Let's keep placing the traps. We also need to slay some of those watchful ravens because, you know, they're watchful and their eyes for. And we only have the bosses word that these animals are evil. They might just. With this many wolves, there doesn't seem to be that much play in a bunch of them yet. And that will most likely make the wolves more hungry and seem to hunt more flesh. Also, we seem to have a to real quill rats or some of the allies. Let's just smash these people. And kill more ravens. I need to get close. Kill more ravens a bit more. And we got some more Azerite, and I still do not know what the Azerite does. And my... Uh, this is just annoying. My... <sighs> my cursor disappeared. It's too far away. And without that, it's going to be real tricky clicking on the traps. Not only has the chance to disappear, but so has, you know, the menus and everything like that, so... There we go. System. Let's see if... There's something here that says anything about... The cursor. Key bindings, vehicle control, interface panel, cancel interface then. I mean, I can see when I'm hovering above it, but I can't really see anything else. Okay, so the mouse setting doesn't show anything about the cursor, so uh, I'm gonna log out and see if... Oh wait, we can do this. See if that works. No, I still cannot see my cursor. So we're gonna log out and see if that solves the issue. Hopefully it does. Because this is a bit of annoying. I would have highly preferred that I could just stream this uninterrupted, but that doesn't seem to be how we're gonna do this. Yeah, I might actually have to restart the entire thing because my cursor has my cursor have completely disappeared. So we are going to have to restart the entire thing and see if that solves it. Yeah, now I can see my cursor, so... Logging into game server and we haven't at least been ejected from it, so that's nice. There we go. Our cursor is back and we can place some traps. Also, we need to slay some more of those ravens. I'm out of range. 
Come on, watchful raven. Let's die. We need some more of you. That should be enough. Let's die. It's kind of funny to see the ravens wanna drink it. I mean, what kind of trinkets do they try and steal? I mean, I wouldn't really have my So, we murdered some ravens, we murdered some stuff, we placed some traps. That should be enough. So let's go get up on our amazing horse and carry on. I mean, it would be kind of fun if you turned up to this trial as a worgen. Can you imagine that? Me You're help. just turning up here as a worgen. Not a beast in sight. Let's see here. We can get a shield or we can get a ring. I, I, I prefer to get a terrible shield. It looks what exactly the same. Those traps should alert us in case anything tries to sneak up on us through the woods. Light bless you. And now we need to talk to the girl who obviously wants us to do something in order to prove her innocence. Hey there. Witchcraft has long lived to the superstitions of the people here. It is only recently that some of these superstitions have become reality. According to tradition, one who is tried for witchcraft is allowed to choose the means by which they are tested from amongst their peers. The villagers here no doubt have some strange beliefs of what witches can and cannot do. Speak with them and see what we can do to prove my innocence. Questions 5 of Fletcher's Hollow Villagers. See you around. Point. You there! Do you believe that the witch will order you to die? Do you need something? I've never seen a real witch before. Isn't this exciting? How can you prove someone is not a witch? I heard a story a while back that there was a witch who lived in the swamp and the way the vi villagers found her was that the uh, blood flies there wouldn't go near her. They bit everyone but it wouldn't quite bite her. They say that it was because a witch's blood is so foul that not See even a blood later. fly would touch it. That sounds like a neat, neat way to prove her What innocence. can I do for you? The witch evil curse took my son. There will be justice today. Back in the old days we would throw weight, uh, we would weigh them down and throw them into the river. If they resurfaced, we would know that they had made an unholy pact and that they get, they get the news. That's the only way to absolve a witch in my eyes. I mean, you want to drown someone? How are you? Uh, something must be done to stop the curse in our village. Village, surely, if killing the witch who cast the spell should break it. And uh, this person is not sure. There's a room that a witch could never sick up since their belly is constant, constantly emptied by the dark spirits living within her. Not sure Have how to prove that. Well, at least you are trying to be a bit Hello. logical about the entire thing. That woman brought the evil into our town. She must be made to pay. I heard that a witch flesh is impervious to flame. That's why we hang them when we're guilty. If you want to convince me, put Have a, a good torch one. to her. That sounds like a horrible thing to do. Good day to you. I think we're gonna go with the blood flies here. Uh, Mama always th told me that a witch could never cry, no matter how hurt or sad it got. Miss Wakers didn't cry one bit after being told she would be put on trial. She must See be you a later. witch. Now, that's an uh, interesting bit of tidbit. That, that one is actually founded in reality. Uh, during witch trials, if child witnesses cried, or if people who were innocent cried, uh, or people who they were supposed to be innocent, who claimed the innocence, if they didn't cry, then uh, it would seem that to the judges that basically they were witches and everything like that. Because a person who had committed a crime would be more callous about it, so to speak. So, in short, a person who could keep their head cool was more likely to get their something? head chopped off. I think it's safe to rule out the fire and drowning, don't you think? It looks like that leaves us with three tests. The first test should be simple enough. While I may not do so often, I'm certainly capable of crying. To be honest, I have never tried to cry on cue. Maybe you could help with that. 
Nearby there's an onion field that belongs to one of the local farmers. It's abandoned and most of it's dried up by now, but if you might be able to find one onion ripe enough just to cause some tears. I'm all too familiar with the bloodflies, but we had them all over the fields around Awakeman's Manor. Fro, I loathe to subject myself to them on purpose. If it will help convince these people, I'm willing to deal with that nuisance. Find a jar and collect as many bloodflies as you can. They are common in this part and should not be hard to find. Uh, they say a witch can't get sick. We will prove to them that I can. A venom uh, co uh, comes from the sour lakes nearby that used to our heels when a child swallows something they shouldn't. When ingested, it will make you immediately ill, emptying the contents of the stomach. You will need several of the venom glands to get enough venom for an appropriate dose, removing them intact. Maybe. Safe travels. So there is the bug catching jar. And let's... Ah, uh, crap, we still need that. Oh, crap. Big lizards. Big fucking lizards. Glands was obviously the tricky part because we still doesn't have enough of them. The drop rate doesn't seem to be that that fun. What we really should be doing is getting that treasure quest and say that hey look at look at the, what your ruler did. Some of the warriors get your treasure quest here, take it, and then we'll just run off with her. And we got one more of those to go. Hopefully this one can provide the body part we need. I mean let's just slay these the old innocent animals. Apparently we have a quest here from Adela Hawthorne. I'm gonna check out what that is all about. We did not get the Venom Gland either for that matter, but here's the onions at least. Uh, I can't... Oh wait, there's Hawthorne. Let's see, I think she wants to tell me to Hello? clear out her... Yeah, she wants me to kill the territorial quill rats in See you around. Come on. 
Come on, Sunrise. Let's die. Now there are many of onions here, but you have obviously to find the correct onion here. Shriveled onion? Shriveled onion? I mean, we're gonna empty the entire onion patch by the end of the day, are Getting a bunch of bonus will red play and since we are basically And that's the triple reds. And we also got some more Azerites. The blood of Azeroth. I mean, the onions here doesn't seem to be of any use, really. There we go. Oh, apparently she's under attack by one of the beasts. Help her out. You need something? See you later. Only one thing left to do now, and that is get another one of those attack venom glands and. That should be enough for this. I'm out of range. Let's catch our bed and just get more than one of one. It's good for XP, is it? Well, for that time. We only need one. Let's go free the witch. It would actually be kind of funny if it turns out she really is a witch. But I mean, we've already... We've already done that, so... Hello. Onion field? A lot of blood flies and venom glands. I think we have everything we need to c conduct three of the villagers' tests. Let us hope that is enough to convince them. I'm sure Constable Pharma is jumping at the bits to proceed with this trial, and I would prefer if uh, you were the one to administer the test. I don't know, uh, I don't know you well, but I trust you far than the constable. Speak with him when you're ready to begin, and do me a favor and make it quick. Safe travels. Good day to you. We're ready to begin Safe the trial. Travels. The Lady Waycrest has uh, chosen the test. She has chosen this mainland to administer the test as usual. Unusual choice, but as a show of good faith, I will allow it. First, that would be the shredding of tears. Let it be known that Miss uh, Wakefield shed not one tear during the entire, uh, entire process. Is the accused even capable of weeping? Show us that we may pass our judge. Let's cut the onions. Cut all the onions. <laughs> well, she's crying. <laughs> there may still be trickery afoot. We will continue with the trial, obviously. 
The second test will be the stinging of insects. It is well known that even the voracious blood fly will not taste a witch's vile blood. Release the flies, then watch as they scatter from her bewitched sledge. Release the blood flies. And obviously they <laughs> are not happy to see her. Interesting, but hardly conclusive. Let us move on to the final test, the purging of the Vicestra. It is well known that the witch's power is not fueled not by food, but consumed the souls of her victims. Her insides is an empty husk. Are you prepared to prove otherwise, Mr. Wayquest? Let's give her the venom and see what happens. She got sick. And of course he will be the one passing judgment. You will only be absolved once we uncover the truth of what happened to our village. I mean, uh, it, it, it's the favor to just murder that guy. Because if the favor is to just murder that guy, I'm up for it. It's obvious the constable won't be swayed until we discover what happened in Splashers Hollow. I know very little myself, only that the village have been overrun by strange creatures made of wind and bone. I must ask you to travel there in my stead and try to uncover what befell the village. I'm sure Marshal Red is will prevent the constable from harming me while you're away. Do this for me and I will help you as have I can. Have a good one. Curse at Fletcher's Hollow, and we need to speak with Evelyn Pa at the Timber's Run in Dustwell. Yeah, those are yellow, not red, so we should be fine with them. How the gulls, however, seems to be very, very angry at us. So we need to stay well clear of the seagulls because we will never survive the attack of these horrible, horrible seagulls. There will be many seagulls here and we need to kill them all. The fairy master. And let's find someone to talk to here. The Evelyn Pa. How are you? Let's repair and sell some shit. Let's just sell our food and the tomb of the tranquil mines as well. Just to empty the bags. See you around. Greetings. You're looking to help solve this curse? Well, it's good to hear we can truly use all the help. Yet, uh, I'm happy to help you to the bottom of this. Fine, first things first, we need to save some of our villagers. Can't let them hang. Actually, person. this is where I'm gonna cut it because uh, I'm going to switch the board in about an hour or so. But I need to get some shit done. But at least we've seen the first part of this zone, and this was kind of interesting. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, catch you guys later.